The Move Transition is one of the more popular plugins that's out there, but this feature in the Move Transition is one I hardly ever see anyone use. It allows you to move assets around the screen like cameras, images, or videos, and you can also add zoom or crop those moving images. And all this can be done without even switching scenes and totally controlled with simple hotkeys. So let me show you how it works. Now this is a really cool aspect of the Move Transition. And what it means is, as you can see on the screen, I have a background that might be part of a tutorial. And then I have my image on the screen as well, down in the bottom left-hand corner. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kinda crop my image down here a little bit, but you can see these are both individual images. Now what I wanna do is I wanna right-click on my scene and go to Filters. Now I'm gonna click the plus at the bottom and I'm gonna to go to Move Source. And I'm gonna call this one Move Source space LL for lower left, which is the position of my camera. Then I'm gonna click OK. I'm going to select the source here in the Properties window. In this case, it's my video capture device. Then I'm gonna scroll down here and you can see you can change the way this stuff moves as well, but I'm just gonna to go to the Transform here and I'm gonna get the Transform. And this applies the location and the way that the box is laid out to everything. And all this stuff, the actions down here, you can change these, but I'm going to control this with hotkeys. So I don't need to change anything here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the plus again and go to move source. And now I'm going to move source and we're gonna call this LR for lower right and click okay. Now I'm going to take my video window and I'm going to move this over to the right hand side of the screen, lower right, and I'm going to make sure that I have my source selected. In this case, it's my video capture device. Then I'm gonna scroll down to transform and I'm gonna click get transform. So now it has the coordinates for my camera and the crop and everything. Next, I'm gonna click the plus and once again, I'm going to add a move source. This one I'm gonna call move source and it's going to be UR for upper right. Click okay. Under source, I'm gonna grab my video capture device, scroll down to transform. Now I'm going to actually move my video window up to the top right and click get transform. So now it has the location of that window. And then I'm gonna click the plus and add another move source. And this time it's going to be UL or upper left. I'm gonna move it to the proper location on the screen and then I'm going to go ahead and select the correct source and I'm going to hit that get transform again. And I wanna do one more of these and the reason why is because I wanna show you that these will work even if you re-transform your window. In other words, you change the size or you adjust the crop. So I'm gonna go back down here and I'm gonna click that plus once again and go to move source and this one I'm gonna call middle and click OK. Now I'm gonna select my video capture device as my source and I'm gonna go over here to the right. I'm gonna click Alt and drag these out so my window is no longer cropped. And then I'm just gonna resize it to the center of the screen here. And you can see you can adjust and resize it any way you want. I'm gonna move it into the center of the screen and that looks all right. I'm gonna scroll down here and click Get Transform. So now that's locked in and I'm gonna click close. Now we have all the spots we want our camera to move. We're gonna go down here to settings and we're going to go to hotkeys. Now all I need to do is scroll down and find those filter entries. And of course we're working in scene, so they're right here. And I'm going to select each one and assign a hotkey to it. And I just do this on the number pad with uh, keys that actually represent those locations. It makes it pretty easy. Once I do that, I click apply. And now when I go out, when I click those hotkeys, you can see my camera moving around the screen in a really smooth, cool fashion. And you can select any hotkeys you want to move your camera around the screen. And it doesn't just have to be a camera. It can be literally any scene object. How cool is that? Awesome stuff. There are links to the Move Transition plugin in the description so you can download it and check it out for yourself. Is there a plugin you wanna see me cover? Let me know in the comments. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.